Hey everyone, this is Ole Shinraki from Laddering Your Success, and you're listening to the LYS Podcast. Hey, what's going on parents? Today we're tackling the question, does college make you more money on today's Steps for Success? So, I'm Festus Moy, founder of Laddering Your Success, and we're bringing you Steps for Success to just talk about the journey of becoming and being more successful. And so this question, does college make you more money, is a big caveat, especially if you're a first generation parent, meaning, you know, you maybe didn't go to college, maybe you're just trying to help your child go to college for the first time, and you're wondering, should they go to college or should they do something else? College does not automatically make you more money, okay? Let me start off by saying that, but it does increase value. And what do I mean by increased value? It increases your child's value by the fact that number one, they know a new circle of friends of people who pursue education, right? That's kind of one of the big secrets to education is that the further along you go in your education, you surround yourself with other people who are striving to know more about education. Now that does not necessarily correlate to money yet. It, it does correlate to educational opportunities. So study abroad, different types of things like that. But finally, when it comes to how, how do you make more money, it's about certifications, it's about licenses. And those things usually provide a safety net by which parents are, students are able to make more money. So I hope this step for success helped you out, okay? You can apply that knowledge with our being knowing doing methodology as you have a discussion with your child about their academic future okay so are you interested in more money or are you interested in having better character having more values having more principles that's what being is about right so aligning what you're learning with character values and principles and then what about knowing okay knowing what resources are available that's a good thing about college is that you're exposed to more resources. So where the person who goes to high school, they're not really exposed to the amount of resources or the quality of the resources that a person who goes to college is. The person who goes to college is usually exposed to more. But let's say you don't wanna go to college. Let's say you wanna look at trade school. Trade school shows you some very specific resources that your child can use to make more money, right? So college is not the only option. But this needs to be a discussion between you and your child. The big thing is you don't want to end up in a lot of debt by not finishing. You want to make sure that they finish whatever it is that they start. And so the way that you can make sure that they finish what they start is by having a real heart to heart discussion with them, taking that heart to heart discussion and then applying that in a very practical consumer way towards whatever it is you're doing, whether it's college, whether it's trade school, whether it's community college. Hey, listen, if you are very curious about all of this and you're saying, hey, I need a resource, tell you what, go to www.ladderingyoursuccess slash parents, www.ladderingyoursuccess slash parents, and you could get a resource that we created that has not only timelines regarding what you should be doing, depending on your child's grade level, tips on scholarships and grants different types of things like that, but also tips on on post high school strategies, right? Because there's different strategies that you can apply. There's community college partnered with trade school. There is a four year college partnered with community college. There is there's so many different strategies that you can apply and there's different reasons why you apply each of those. We have them there. So that'll make this conversation you're having with your child way more rich you'll kind of see a vision of of their future because oftentimes, you know, college is just trying to sell you something. And so because they're trying to sell you something, they don't really tell you about all the different options. They just say, hey, come to our school. We, we, you know, we got loans available for them, right? And right now we know that that's not what's up, okay? Finally, we say all this so that you can focus on your doing which is executing with excellence, creating a plan, creating a process, and then executing that plan and process with excellence. And so 
we want you to do well. We want your child to do well. Thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, watching if you're watching this on YouTube. And so we will see you next time. Remember, there are legitimate excuses for not going to college. There's no legitimate excuse for not getting an education. All right, be blessed. Oh, you're still there? Well, thank you so much for listening to the LIS podcast. 